Hello to my Daisy Girl Scout friends. Thank you for tuning in. This is video six of six. That's right, you've heard it here. This is our last video for our three cheers for animals journey session that you can do at home. And ironically, the title of the last story we're about to read is called Home Sweet Home. It's a very appropriate title for right now. So make sure you grab your book if you have it. And of course, scoot in closer for our final story time together. Okay, story number six, Home Sweet Home. The flower friends spread out through the garden. They gathered soft moss and crunchy leaves for Robin's nest. They felt good to share all that the garden offered. I'm a very fast worker when it comes to building my nest, Robin said, but this is the kindest thing anyone has ever done for me. Thank you for your help, flower friends. Cheerio, cheerio. We can hardly wait for your baby Robins to become part of our garden family. Maybe we can find worms for them to eat, Zini said. Until then, we have lots of other garden friends to help, said Tula. We've learned how important it is to care for other living creatures. Now let's be sure to take good care of ourselves. That way we'll be ready to care for others. Let's promise to keep our daisy flower garden strong and healthy for all of its critters. Let's promise to make sure there are plenty of leaves and branches for the birds and squirrels to build nests with said Vi, and lost lots of crunchy seeds for them to eat, said Xenia. Let's promise to keep fresh water in our bird bath and pond. Then our critters can drink, bathe, and enjoy splashing about, said Gloria. Let's promise to do our part to take care of animals here at home and far, far away too. We've learned so much from everyone's stories, said Mary. It's important that we share our stories. The more we teach others, the more others can care for animals too. I'm so proud of you all, said Tula. Your stories show your strength and courage and how caring you are. We can be sisters to all animals, said Vi. I'm amazed at how much we learn from one another, said Mary. It makes me want to learn even more, agreed Gloria. I never expected to feel so proud of what I can do. It was one of the best surprises ever, said Zini. I felt really important to take care for animals, said Vi, even if I was a little nervous at first. We all have lots of feelings inside us, said Tula. It feels good to share our feelings. It's important that we try to understand how others feel too. I'm proud that you trusted us enough to share your feelings. Vi smiled. She looked around the daisy flower garden. Birds chirped, bees buzzed, chipmunks chattered. Just then, the flower friends heard a familiar sound. Meow! It's the cat, said Vi. She's back! And she brought her kittens, said Gloria. They're so tiny and sweet. I can't wait to pet them, said Zini. Let's go, said Tula. This new cat family could use some special care, and we know just what to do. This is going to be fun, said Mary, and this is going to be another wonderful story for us to tell, said Tula. Cheery up, cheery oh, sang Robin the red robin. She couldn't have agreed more. The end. That concludes reading of the last story of our journey, Three Cheers for Animals. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to these stories. I know I had fun reading them. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget, 
make sure you check out your activity packet for the last final activities for you to do that go along with our sixth story that we just read together. Um, in those activities, you'll find some ways to take care and spread some love to the animals in your life, uh, like your pets or your friends' pets, if you don't have any. Um, and there's a great little way to celebrate with your family that now that you have finished your, your journey activities. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a great time. Good luck with everything. And I hope this made being cooped up at home a little bit more fun. Peace out, Girl Scouts.